Today, I'm going to be showing you how to get the pilot headgear and save it to any outfit. All this and more on today's episode of GTA 5's Tips, Tricks, Bitches, and Glitches. What's that? Oh. I'm being told there are no bitches. Yo, what's going on? My name is True Swolger. Hi. I hope all is well. Alright, so before you even start this glitch, the first thing that you want to do, you want to make sure that you're in a lobby with a yacht. You don't actually have to own a yacht, though if you do, it makes it that much easier. You just have to keep finding a new lobby until you find someone with a yacht. Um, I can't remember if they actually show up on the mini-map or if you're just going to have to fly down to the beach and see if there's one out there. But you're going to need a yacht for this trick. The other thing you want to do is make sure that your auto show aircraft helmet option is switched to on. That way when you get inside of an aircraft, it automatically places the pilot headset onto your head. Next, and this is purely optional, go ahead and pick out a pair of sunglasses or goggles now because once you have the headset saved, you won't be able to add sunglasses later because it will automatically remove the headset. So if you put the sunglasses on now, you'll be able to have them with the outfit as well. Now there is a trick, and I'm going to have to look into it to make sure it has not been patched, but you might still be able to add the sunglasses later on, but just to play it safe, go ahead and pick out those goggles in the beginning, that way you're guaranteed to have them. Now you're going to need to decide which headset you want. There's actually two different variations depending on the type of aircraft that you're getting into. If you get into more of a civilian helicopter, you're going to get the what looks like a pair of turtle beaches on your head. Um, if you get in more of a military helicopter, this is like the buzzard, the annihilator, possibly the cargo bob. It's going to put on more of like a full face mask. Once you have found the aircraft of your choosing, simply fly to a yacht and land it inside of the hot tub. If you happen to blow yourself up, you'll be okay as long as you got out of the helicopter before you blow up. So when you get out, you're going to automatically be put into your swim trunks. No big deal. You're not going to see the headset right away. You have to walk away just a few feet and it'll put you back into your outfit, but it will also put the headset back on your head. Now, normally this headset only appears on your head when you're inside of the aircraft, but what this glitch does is it allows you to keep the headset on your head outside of the aircraft. Now, this is the tricky part. Once you have the headset on your head outside of the aircraft, make sure you do not get in a vehicle. You can't get into a boat. You can't get into a helicopter. Otherwise, you will lose the headset. So... It gets a little annoying here, but what you have to do is you have to just swim the shore. And I suggest going right to the mask shop because it's the closest one to the beach. Just like any of the other clothing stores, the mask shop will let you save outfits as well. So just save your outfit with the headset and you're all done. Now you can pull up the outfit anytime you want with the headset. And people are going to be wondering, how did you get that? Because when you go to the stores, you can actually buy the ear defenders which kind of look like the pilot headset without the microphone. So it's kind of unique. It's a nice little touch. It's kind of cool when you're in racing lobbies and people are looking at everybody's outfits and everybody's standing around and you got this pilot headset on that no one else can get. So it's kind of a nice little touch. It's, it's subtle, but nice. Real nice. <laughs> one thing I do need to mention is that once you save your outfit, you're not going to be able to change your jacket. You're not going to be able to change your pants. So make sure, I mean, you can change them, but you'll lose the headset. So make sure that you're wearing whatever outfit you want to have with the headset when you save the outfit. Because last I checked, when you change anything, it will remove the headset. So know what you want to wear ahead of time because that's what you're going to be stuck with. If you want to have another outfit... Just perform the glitch again with whatever outfit you want and save that outfit as well. So then you can have the headset with multiple outfits. Now here you can see I stepped out of a buzzard into the hot tub and what it gave me was the full face military aircraft headgear. And if you look closely you'll see that I still have the goggles on underneath. That's why I said originally make sure you put the goggles on because that's also a nice little touch because you know there's no way to put them on after the fact. So... The more 
junk you can put on your face, uh, the cooler you're going to look. I think that's the uh, the golden rule. So the more shit you have on your face, the cooler you look. That's why uh, that's why nose piercings and lip piercings and face tattoos, you know, they, they've stood the test of time. And the same goes for this game, you know. If you can somehow manage to put a hat on top of your headgear, well, props to you. That's baller status. But sadly, at the moment, I don't believe there's any kind of glitch that allows you to put a hat on top of your headgear. So, stay tuned. Maybe we'll figure that one out later. With that being said, I just want to say thank you to everyone watching. Thank you to all the subscribers. Recently, I hit 17 subscribers. 20 is right around the corner. I know it seems like such a small feat, but... That's, that's awesome, because two weeks ago I had zero subscribers. So, thank you so much for all your support. Thank you for the likes. If you're new to the channel, subscribe if you want to. Stay up to date with all the GTA tips, tricks, glitches, and bitches. Uh, there's never any bitches. I'm sorry. I just It just sounds cool, so I say it. But honestly, there's probably never going to be bitches. So, if that's what you're here for, I'm sorry to let you down. But, if you're here for everything else, I definitely have that. So thanks for tuning in. Give it a like if you feel it in your hearts to do so. And last but not least, uh, I don't know. Take it easy.